Hi family, welcome. My name is Manolo Mbofu and if this is your first time, thank you so much for watching. So today we're talking about keep your word. The Bible says the power of life and death lies in our tongue. But oftentimes we take for granted that our words are always creating, words are always killing us killing our future, killing our dreams in what we say, how we say it, and what we agree in terms of what people also say in our lives. Why is it so important that we guard what we say? Why is it so important that we keep our word? Because our word is our reputation. Our word is what people will define us by. When we use our word maliciously, People tend to listen to you the first time, the second time. By the time it goes on and on, people start defining you by what you consistently say, by what you consistently um, communicate to others. That, that's why we find that some people are called gossipers. Some people are called people of faith. Some people are called optimists or, or pessimists based on what they say to others and based on how they keep their word just a slight example when i was telling my kids i was promising them certain things and they came back to me and said mommy you said you said you will do this eventually when you don't keep up to your word you you start becoming an untrustworthy person you start becoming a dishonest person because you fail to keep your word that is why the bible says to us that the power of life and death lies in our time so constantly in what we're saying to each other in what we're saying to ourselves we are either giving life to ourselves or we're killing ourselves and others so family today really I just wanted to encourage you that use your words wisely think before you say anything you have the time lapse between what's in your heart and what you say and the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks I believe that it there is a time lapse between what's in your heart and what you say and that is the thinking time where one thinks about what they want to say and how how to best articulate what they want to say successful people they value more what they say to other people and how what they want to say out of the abundance of the heart is well articulated that when they say it out it does not come back to bite them these are the people who mastered the word out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and that the power of life and death lies in your tongue family today really i just wanted to come and say let us keep our word as we go to god and make him account for his word that you said you will bless me you said i'm the head and not the tail you said i'm above and never beneath why is one two three and four happening that is why god held himself to the same accountability that he wants us to hold each other and that he upholds us with that use your words wisely these words they either kill you or they either create use your words to create life for yourself use your word to create a reputation for yourself don't take out a word if you know that you are not able to fulfill that word you are not able to keep up to that word it goes even beyond ourselves even to our children the reason why um some of our are not to are not trusting of people the reason why some never take people seriously there is the reason why some people never take you seriously it's because you have violated your word so many times you have not kept up to your word so many times that people feel that they cannot trust you that children grow up into being adults not being trusting of people because they've been lied to by their parents over and over again or they've been promised by their parents over and over again one plea to my fellow parents is that never say to a kid something to get them out of the way never take out a word to say no i will give you this or i will do this if you don't do that and when the kid obeys what you're saying by not doing exactly what you told them not to do you don't keep up to your end we're raising children that are not not trusting that are always skeptics we raise children that are pessimists because we've raised them in such a way that 
that they know that old people don't keep their word and they grow up thinking this is normal they say let us keep our word as we hold god accountable to his word so must we hold each other accountable to the things that we say that we make sure as fellow christians that all we do daily is create let there be let there be we create life in and around us that we don't test people and that we don't destroy people with our words but we give life we bring life we bring unity we bring peace to our world through our words your word let it be a positive word let your heart be filled with positivity let you be called an optimist and not a pessimist let you be called a child of god based on how good you make people feel how people leave your presence feeling like they can do anything and they are capable and able to do things they never thought they could do i hope that this has been a blessed word for you to say out of your mouth there is life and death and choose life because our maker said i've placed before you life and death it's so beautiful how the word comes together when you start reading reading it and understanding the perspective and the mind of God that the God that God says out of out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks that the power of life and death lies in your tongue and there yet again he says I placed life and death before you how in your tongue because your tongue is what gives life and what kills and I, he said I hope and I want you to choose life because life is in how you speak you create with your words so family i hope that these scriptures has been a blessing to you that from now on you choose beyond circumstances even beyond what you can see that this is a dire situation that you still choose to say all things work together for my good that you still choose to say god has given me life and life in abundance that you still choose to keep up to your word and that word is to create life for you that word is to fill up your heart with words of peace and wisdom and understanding and that you bring life to the people around you you speak life into your children you speak life into your world you speak life to yourself that you are beautiful you are made in the image and the likeness of word those are the words and the standard that we uphold each other with so with all of that family keep your word and let that word be a word of life love you bye